Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Caleb. And in today's video, I'll be giving you predictions for football matches taking place today, Wednesday, the 31st of July, 2024. This is the last day of the month, guys. And hopefully we can end this month on a high by winning our sets of predictions for today. I actually have two sets of predictions for you with our usual two odds and above. And hopefully at the end of the day, we all will be happy and smiling because we must have maximized our winnings from these predictions. Yesterday was a pretty good day for us guys because we actually had a 100% success rate. Both sets which I gave you for yesterday, we actually won them. And I'm very, very happy, guys. And I want to say congratulations to all of you who played from our predictions for yesterday. So, guys, for our set one of yesterday, we had Finabache versus Lugano. We went for a home win for Finabache, of which I told you it was going to be a very tricky game for them. It was a tough game because Lugano is a team that never said die. And as such, they gave Finabache a fight. They actually had the first goal in that game. But Finabache had to come from behind to win that game two goals to one, scoring in the dying minutes of that game. So we won that prediction correctly. Next, guys, we had Slovan Bratislava versus Silje. That was the second game of our set one, of which we went for a home win or draw for Slovan Bratislava. I said it was going to be a very tough game for them, and that is why we went for the safe bet of a home win or draw. But guys, the first half of that game saw CJ having a red card, and that made it easy for Slovan Bratislava, which, of which they actually won five goals to zero. So we got the prediction correctly. And our third game of our set one was Punic versus Truga, a very difficult game on paper and also on the pitch. Punic actually won the game 3-1, and guys, they actually scored their qualifying goal at the end of that match, like almost the last kick of the game. We went for a home win or draw for Punic, and we actually got that prediction spot on as well. So in total, those three games actually made up our set one of yesterday, which gave us a 2.1 odds, and we actually won that set. Our next set of prediction, which was our set two, was Karabakh versus Lincoln Red Ems. We went for a home win for Karabakh, of which I told you this game is a very easy one for Karabakh. Despite the fact that they already had victory in the first leg away at Lincoln Red Ems, I saw them actually winning this game comfortably. They won the game five goals to zero, and as such, our prediction was spot on. The second game of our set two was Pata Prek versus Shamrock Rovers. This was a very tricky game, guys, considering the fact that Shamrock Rovers were never going to back down, despite being two goals down going into this game. And actually, they didn't back down, guys. They gave Sparta Prek a fight and a run for their money in that game. But Sparta Prek proved too strong for them and actually came back and won that game four goals to two. So our home win prediction for the game was actually spot on as well. And the third and last game that completed our set two for yesterday was Petro Cup versus Apoel Nicosia. A tough one on paper and on the pitch, given that the first leg was a very close one with Apoel Nicosia winning that game one goal to zero. I really saw this game as a very tough game. And if you can remember, I told you this game might very well end in a draw, like 90% chances of having this game ending in a draw. And guys, it ended 1-1 apiece, and Apoel Nicosia protected their first leg lead, which took them into the third round of the Champions League. So guys, this game, we actually went for a, an away win or draw for Apoel Nicosia of which we got it spot on because it ended in a draw. These three games give us a two plus odds and we actually won the set comfortably as well. 
So I want to say congratulations to all of you who actually played from our predictions and won. Hopefully today we can also rejoice because both sets I'm about to give you will be in. I've, I've done my work behind the scenes and hopefully the players also don't disappoint us and give us what we want. So guys, today offers us another opportunity and we are going for the win as usual. Hopefully it comes to pass and we all will be happy at the end of the day. For our set one for today, we have Spartak Tenava versus Sarajevo. This game is a very tough one, guys. This game, good teams who play the game like their lives depends on it. Because the first leg actually kept the game, actually kept this game open for both sides. But then, guys, I see Sparta Tenava having the quality to actually oversee this game. Either by nicking it at the between nine, either by nicking it within 90 minutes or getting the draw and going to extra time to win this game. But then, guys, to be on the safe side, we are going for a home win or draw for Sparta Tenava. Our second game for today, for our set one, is Mol Feheva. Mol Feheva, some people actually call it video tone. It is Mol Feheva versus some Kate. You have to forgive my pronunciations, guys. Some Kate, that's Mol Feheva, usually known as video tone, versus some Kate. Guys, this game also is a very tricky one because both sides are actually playing for the qualification guys both sides have an equal chance of actually qualifying in this tie so guys we are going to go for a home win for mo forever and this is because i see them as the big as i see them as the better sides to actually get the win in this game i don't think this game will exceed 90 minutes and i see them making it at the end and getting that qualification ticket so our next game is a home win or more forever and our third game to complete our set one for today is Jagelonia versus Penevis guys this game actually first leg was a walkthrough for Jagelonia away from home and they actually won that game four goals to zero I don't see any difference with this one guys I know they might feel relaxed and want to play maybe one or two other players but guys this is a very tricky game. They can't compromise in this game, guys. And as such, we are going for a home win for Jagelonia. I expect them to actually see off this game comfortably at the end of 90 minutes. And as such, we are going for a home win for them. These three games, guys, actually give us a 2.3 odds. And the code is right there on your screen. For our set two of today, we have Partisan B Great versus Dynamo Kev. A very eventful first leg, guys. And I see nothing different from this one. It will also be a very eventful one, which will bring in goals because there will be chances on both sides. And I expect both excuse. And I expect both teams to actually convert their chances to goals. And as such, we are going for both teams to score in that game. I see both teams actually scoring in this game, guys. It's going to be a very interesting game. Our second game for our set two is Austria Vena versus Ives. This game, guys, it ended 2-1 in favor of Ives in the first leg. And guys, I hugely and highly favor Austria Vena to actually get the win in this game. But guys, Ives is a team that doesn't really back down. And they are in a very good form at the moment. I see them giving Oshavena a very big trouble and a run for their money in this game. And guys, the game is an open one. And anybody can qualify from this game. And as such, guys, I see goals on both sides as well. I see chances, high level of chances or high number of chances created. And as such... These chances, some of them will definitely be converted into goals on both sides. So we are also going for both teams to score in this game. So guys, these two games will actually make up our set two of today 
and it gives us a 2.7 odd. That's a huge odd, guys. We can go for it and definitely I am sure we'll get it at the end of the day. So it gives us a 2.7 odds and the code is right there on your screen. So guys, those are the two sets of predictions I have for you today. And hopefully we all will be happy at the end of the day. Please don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video. And also hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. And don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. Please guys, don't forget to share this video to as many people as possible so that they also can benefit from our predictions. Stay tuned to the channel guys because I'll be coming up with more and more prediction videos. Hope to see you on the next one guys. Thank you.